Okay, welcome back. It's uh, Anya Divine here, and this is Margot. And this is step two. I started doing this painting of the flowers that I got from some lovely friends at the weekend. And I uh, might actually dedicate this to, to all of you who was away on a weekend retreat with some beautiful women. And uh, uh, this is, this painting is for you. So, um, but it's a long time since I've stood at an easel and painted. I've kind of done bits and pieces around the place, you know, as you'll know if you've been watching the YouTube channel. And I did a 15 minute kind of um, start on this, although it was, a, a, you know, it was a lot of this carry on rambling, actually. Oh. And the kind of thing that happens, I think, at the beginning, which is a lot of um, I, c I suppose a floundering is probably the best word for it. Just feel the way into it, you know, and see what, what's called for in this one. And you never really know, like, beforehand, which that, that's kind of a pleasing thing and a scary thing. No. So this is step two. My name is Anya Devine, if I didn't already say that. And I'm going to use a stencil next. No, I'm not. What was I going to do next? I was actually going to use some more ultramarine blue now if you tuned into the first video I've moved the picture to the left to the right a bit because I wanted to, um, to put on this extra bit of paper in order to capture the extending flowers over there the freesias they're zooming out that way um, and so I just took on a piece of cartridge paper there um, this is some collage and then the stocks I did with a mix of magenta and uh, cerulean blue I'm talking myself through it now because I'm wondering where to go next. I think probably I do want to put a bit more dark before I start to um, establish the colourful ones there. I'll find first the foil of the foliage. How's that for alliteration? Find the foil of the foliage. Okay, so dry a dryish brush here now. It's never as dry as I think it is though when I get to move it. And I like to use acry acrylic fairly dry because um, because I want to be able to work over it quickly, you know. That's one of the things I love about acrylic is that it dries, it it dries fairly quickly. Okay, so my eyes are half closed now and I'm kind of finding the, the general areas of dark in the, in the greenery. There's a certain tentative, there's a little bit of a battle between wanting to be attentive and free and, um, and, and not wanting to um, extend too fully into chaos either. So as soon as something is, yeah, there's a kind of a push and pull at this stage anyway. I suppose at every stage, I don't know, but at the moment it feels like a bit of a advance and retreat. And a certain part of me resists that and wants to just keep the forward momentum, but I kind of have to talk myself around, like I have to kind of be compassionate with the part of me that isn't so free flowing just yet. So what did I do there now? I put out some cadmium red. I'm trying to consider how, yeah. I was wondering how to make that flowery color there. That might be a good one for it. Just press that in to a few places. It's not unlike the color of that flower over here either, actually. And then we've got the more reddish, no, I don't know if this is going to be true or not. It's not really, but well, it's quite good for the brightest parts, though. The brightest parts of that. I'm just looking for a dark red now for um, like an alizarin crimson would be a good one, maybe. Which it's hiding from me at the moment. There's a crimson, it'll do. It might do, let's see. 
I'm putting a ton of paint on when I squirt it out like that. I suppose, do you know what I could do there is I could experiment with um, these stencils. I've got a whole load of these kind of stencil things. And I'd say what I could do is use the ultramarine blue, I reckon, and stipple that on. What about that idea? Just looking at the doily there, and I thought that might work for the baby's breath, but it needs it. Um, it needs the teal of the wall behind first, so that it will stand out at all. So, let me see if this would. That's acrylic ink, no, like so. It's very runny, but it'd be quite good for that wall in the background. You know, it's, it's good to do stuff that takes me out of my comfort zone and that, that makes me a little bit surprised and stops the caution, cautionary, you know, that kind of tentative thing. Okay. And it's good that I'm in the kitchen because I can get clean water regularly. Okay, so I let that dry now good to bring some orange in. I still have this big lump of crimson there. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I'd say... Hmm. So here we've got that and then it's over. So it needs to be over there a little bit further. That's what I'm going to do with that. Yeah. And I'm actually going to blot it a little bit more to take some more of the colour off it there. I just leave a thin layer so that it can dry and I might end up using um, a stencil over it then. It's anything to keep me distracted really. It's basically what I'm trying to do. Anything to keep the old thinking mind at bay. And as soon as you start squirting colour onto your hands, I think that has the effect of um, taking attention off upstairs and bringing it down. And actually, I must remember too to move all the time because that's the thing too that's really helpful. I haven't got any shoes on and that's always a good, good idea for me. Right, so there's an orange floor in there. And there's another couple of orange ones there that are a bit more in shadow, so that's okay that I'm mingling with the dirty paint on my hands. Right, and green to get back to some of that hooker's green. Hooker's green and I'd say I could put some brown with it. I've got burnt umber here because I want to knock the colour out of the green a little bit to make it darker. And to make it really sit there in the shade. Mm. And there's some dark browny green over here too in between the two stalks there there's a dark area of green and then of course there's that those lovely leafy things which are more green than brown but there's some dark green in there as well so that's okay and they're kind of sweepy more but I think what I can do later is I can maybe use the oil pastel to make a bit more sense of that area so that's okay. Just finding the space of um, green in between the roses and things. What I'm doing here is... Um, what am I doing here now, really, is that... Um, and just arriving back. I feel a little bit tearful. I'm a bit tearful quite a bit nowadays. But this this really has got nothing very much to actually do with the picture. <laughs> what it has much more to do with is finding my colours, I suppose, and letting them extend out the way. 
and I want to say thank you to these flowers for allowing that to happen. Okay. Mm. And there's a big stamp of yellow there. I think it's cadmium yellow. And why don't I use a stencil for once and for all? Let me see. Use a stencil. I really don't seem to be wanting to though. I think what I should, mm, what I could do is put down um something a little bit more dull maybe to start with there that could read as a dark I don't know if it's really dark yellow but it anyway it's a colour that's not so bright and I can put the yellow over that maybe yeah that's okay there's even a feel of it in some of those leaves that colour And I know I can extend the doily now over the top. I might do that for the baby's breath business I was talking about earlier. You know, the, the doily I thought might work for those fluttery extensions. I'm twisting myself up in the microphone. Yeah, so there's still an opening for a technician on call any time of day or night to sort everything out. And actually a chef, someone to do the laundry, dog walker, although I have that actually in fairness. Oh look, there's my scarf. I was looking for my scarf all day. Right, there we are now. Bit of glue. What else? A dog walker. You know, all the things. I was thinking about it today. What else was I going to say? Oh, someone to post stuff. Because those of you who've ordered calendars and the Tree of Life print now, hopefully you've all got your trees, those of you who ordered them. Um, uh, whereas, what was I going to say, the calendars, I'm actually getting there with them. And in a way I like to kind of do that myself a little bit. I like to be interacting with everybody and all that, but Gemma's going to post them for me. So I just need to send him all the addresses. Might do that tomorrow. I'll need to go to a coffee shop and just get the whole shebang done in one day. I could sometimes stay in the coffee shop for the whole day, like it's a cheap office. <laughs> okay, because you know you can imagine in, in the kitchen, like if you were to look over there, now there's an awful pile of stuff. Right, it's nearly 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop again. And uh, come back to you after that. I'll stop in about 30 seconds. So what more could I do now today uh, in this minute <laughs> um, before stopping? I feel like there's more to be done in there, but for now I think I'll just leave that. Um, yeah, maybe I could do a bit of a splash of this alcohol ink just in the wee time that we've got left there. A bit of that. Because it's, it's almost the same as the colour of the background that I did with the acrylic ink. But it being alcohol ink, it has a slightly different effect. Okay. Have a good wash after this. Okay. Um, do you know, I'll bring that up to you to see a little bit more clearly. What I was up to there. And then I might be able to share this too if I get off before the 15 minute Instagram thing. So, there we have it so far. And uh, there'll, be another, there'll be another step three, 15 minute step three. This is Anya Divine signing off for now. Thanks very much for joining me. <laughs>